Hi, it's me again. Yeah, it's that time of year everybody has written down their goals, they're getting ready to vamp up for their new marathon training program, or maybe they've put an Ironman on their schedule for early in the summer, even late in the summer, and they've started to go, oh, I'm so out of shape, I better get going. So what happens? Well, they do too much, too fast, too soon. So what's the most common thing that we're seeing these days? Well, as always, it's heel pain. Most of the time it's plantar fasciitis. But if you have heel pain that comes on suddenly, and that is literally pinpoint, I can point with one finger where it hurts the most. I tell people I have x-ray vision in my finger because most of the time you actually have a calcaneal stress fracture. Now, why does this happen? Well, it's often a chronic overuse injury, meaning that you, it's not like you stepped off a curb wrong, twisted your foot, and broke your heel bone. No, it's more of a repetitive stress injury. So think of it as you beat on a spot on your heel bone for so long, finally it just gives up and cracks. Now sometimes you'll tear your plantar fascia and just have flaming plantar fasciitis with a small tear, or you could be actually building a heel spur, or you've had one in the past and you just kind of make it mad. But if you have, oh my, my foot is killing me pain, after you've gone for a long run and you get up the next morning, you can hardly even put your heel on the ground and it doesn't seem to warm up. It just doesn't seem to be getting better. Oftentimes it is a calcaneal stress fracture. That's why I tell people, just because you think you have plantar fasciitis, maybe you should go see your favorite podiatrist because if you're running around on a calcaneal stress fracture, there is a percentage of those that can go on to have a through and through calcaneal fracture. Yep, that means your heel bone explodes and that would be a bad thing because most people cannot come back from that. In fact, if you have a true calcaneal fracture, you know, I jumped off the roof and landed on the cement kind of fracture, you're never gonna run again. In fact, studies show that most people don't even go back to their normal work after that unless they have a sit down position. So the bottom line is, is that calcaneal stress fractures should not be messed around with. So don't assume you have plantar fasciitis. Why don't you just come visit your favorite podiatrist, get an x-ray taken, make sure it's not a stress fracture. And if it is just common old garden mill plantar fasciitis, then we can certainly treat that. And we have a very nice protocol to treat that and lots of new stuff to get you better. But that's why we take the x-ray, to make sure you don't have that nasty calcaneal stress fracture. So that's all for today. But remember, if you have pain in your heel that you can point with one finger where it is, literally pinpoint, it doesn't warm up, it doesn't go away when you run, then it's time to see your favorite podiatrist. And hopefully, you know, that's me or one of my friends. Have a great day.